my name is Kathleen Selmans. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Amplified Now. We help experts get in front of more leads and customers. And I was talking to someone earlier this week. A really good question came up. We were doing a big marketing plan strategy session. And the question came up, how do I get more eyeballs on my content? The question came from a good place. And the person who asked it was asking because in the past, their strategy for sharing meant that everybody was simply posting new blog post links on their personal social media, which I don't have to tell you, your Facebook friends are not your clients. There might be a tiny bit of overlap and there might be some of you where that is totally not true, in which case don't listen to me. But most of you, the people you went to high school with, the people you went to college with, the people that know you in real life are going to love you no matter what you do, but they are not your clients. So short of sending money to a Facebook campaign, How do you get more eyeballs on your content? And the answer I gave him was probably not satisfying because the answer is to create more content. Your content marketing channels are a number of different places, right? Like when you check your stats at the end of the month, what you're checking for is to see the different composition of where your traffic comes from. Is it coming direct? Direct traffic means that somebody typed in your URL into their browser and they started browsing from there. That's a small percentage of your clients. That's going to end up being the people that actually know you in real life or the people that you asked to check a link to make sure it's working. Then there's social channels. Are you getting content in front of people in the right social channels where they are? You can do this with robots. It does not have to be just shared on your own personal page, but sharing your stuff does have an impact. And then there's organic. We could spend a lot of time talking about organic search, but basically when you are creating content online, you are at the mercy and you are sort of employed by the search engines. So you need to make nice with the search engines because if you do, And if you create content around a problem that your audience wants to solve, getting it on the first or even second or third page of Google search results will go a long way toward increasing your traffic without having to share it on your personal social channels. So when you're thinking about what kinds of content the search engines want, the answer, unfortunately, is the very best, the most comprehensive piece that you could possibly come up with. So if you were to type in your keyword into the search engine yourself, then what you would get in return are, you know, anything that's on the the front page is gonna be great. And so what you would want to do to create something even better is to see what their top line headers are. And then realize that those 10 articles on the first page of Google represent the vast majority of that organic traffic. And so what you have to do is create something that's as good or better than something that's on page one. And that's really challenging, especially if you are coming at content marketing as a have to do, as something that you have to keep doing in order to feed the content machine. And if you're not a writer, it's gonna take a lot more time than you want it to because chances are you are not a strictly content manager for your business. Chances are you wear a lot of different hats for your business and you have to do marketing in order to get in front of more people. But thankfully, there is an easier way. If you can speak for five to 10 minutes about your topic and you can demonstrate your expertise and your authority, then you can get on the first page of Google results. Because do you know what else Google owns? YouTube. So if you create a video where you're talking through those points, you can see what the number one, number two, and number three search results are. 
you can summarize those, put them in your own words, and then you have a great piece that can become a blog post. Again, you're gonna have a little bit of formatting to do because you'll have to add in headers and break up the content because you're gonna be talking quite a bit and you wanna turn your transcript into something useful. But video is so much easier. It's the shortcut to getting good search traffic. And so if you wanna get more eyeballs on your content and not just your friends and your family, but people who might actually buy from you, then creating a content strategy around organic marketing, organic search, search engine optimization, all of that stuff will pay off for you in spades. And if you wanna talk more about building a winning content strategy, book a call at amplifiednow.com. I'll talk to you soon, thanks.